Hey guys, welcome back to the card review series. So finally, we are looking at a card that Lightshorns are finally getting. You know, we've been sitting there waiting, twiddling our thumbs, waiting for this card to come out so we can, you know, deem whether this Lightshorn structure deck is going to completely blow us out of the water or not. So, of course, we know the Lightshorn structure deck, Lightshorn Sanctuary, is coming up, and then the card that we were waiting for was also Lightshorn Sanctuary. Anyway, it gets four new cards. It gets Michael, it gets Raiden, it gets Minerva, and then it gets this card. And, you know... We can clearly, and we've been clearly knowing the effects of the other three for a cool minute now. You've been seeing them on DN, on Depro, on Wajo Pro, all over the place when you duel against Light Thorns with their new cards. But we never knew, we knew that they were getting another card, this card called Light Thorns Sanctuary, but we never knew what it did. Finally, it is out. We can look at the card, we can deem whether this card is good or not, and we can deem whether because of this card maybe Light Thorns will be competitive or not. So, the way that Konami was hyping up is that it was going to resolve the problems that Light Swans were having. Does it do that? We'll find out, but I know, I can tell you right now, not really. Not really. So, it kind of has a two-part effect, and it's... Eh? <laughs> so, let me go ahead and read it. So, Light Swans Sanctuary is actually a continual spell, and that kind of shocked the hell out of me, because I thought, Filled Spell, you know, I just thought, okay. Lightsword and Shikari, it's gonna be the filled spell, you know? They have another filled spell, but this one's gonna be better. No, it's a continuous spell card. So, since it's a continuous spell card, it's gonna be played a little bit differently, and, you know, you can have different plans than you would usually have, uh, because it's a continuous spell card instead of being a filled spell. So, let me go ahead and read the effect. So, the effect reads, Once per turn, you can send one Lightsword monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one other Lightsword monster in your grave, and add it to your hand. So, before we continue with the rest of the effect, well, let's go over this first one. Alright, so it's kind of like a uh, monster reincarnation just for Light Swans. And I'm okay with that, you know? Uh, you know, Konami, when they post the article, they're like, oh, one of your problems is that you can mill the Light Swans that you don't want to mill, and you can draw the Light Swans that you don't want to, and then you can play this card and switch them out, which is a fine, fine play. But you see, when you read this effect, it says Light Swan, Light Swan, Light Swan, Light Swan. Thank God his name is not Light Swan Judgment Dragon or anything along those lines. Thank God. You know, Judgment Dragon, Judgment the uh, Dragon of Light Swan or something like that. Thank God, because you could just go, okay, well, I milled all mine. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate this. I will pitch, get back JD. Summon JD, wipe the field, kill you. All right, well, um, next turn, uh, yo, you got rid of my JD? Well, uh, next turn, I will go activate Light Swan Sanctuary, pitch, get back JD, summon JD, wipe the field, and go off again. You know, so, thank God. It doesn't say JD. So, uh, you know, you can do some plays that will help you with the consistency of the deck now. You know, you won't always be, you know, milling the crap out of your good stuff and, you know, be stuck in your hand with stuff that you don't want because if you play this, you can go ahead and pitch and grab that. Now, like I said about this whole being a continuous spell instead of being a filled spell, if it was a filled spell, you could only play one. It's a continual spell, therefore, you can play multiple. The card does not say you can only use the effect of Lightstone Sanctuary once per turn. So if you go Lightstone Sanctuary, Lightstone Sanctuary, Lightstone Sanctuary, you can go once per turn, that one, pitch, get back. Left once per turn, that one, pitch, get back. Left once per turn, that one, pitch, get back. So uh, they do stack. So if you want to go ahead and uh, play multiples of these cards, you can go ahead. Now, what, in the article, Konami was kind of stating that, uh, you know, since this helps with consistencies and stuff like that, uh, you can go ahead and just play a whole bunch of cards that you wouldn't play regularly really, in Light Sword because you have this card to go ahead and fix your problem. And actually, I was actually reading their article they were talking about, and then they stated one specific thing, and I kind of frowned upon it because, you know, it's just not a smart idea. So. Uh, you know, Light Swan decks, they generally, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but they generally play one Celestia. And, you know, Celestia is that level 5 monster that, you know, gets effect when it's tributed on another Light Swan, of course, and then you get to, you know, select two cards when it's summoned and mill four and blow them up, which is a great effect, you know? And, of course, you, I de definitely recommend that you run it just because it's another name, you know? So, another name for JD. But, in this article, they pretty much said that, you know, due to Light Sworn Sanctuary, you can go ahead and run three Celestia, because, you know, if you draw it at the wrong time, when well, you don't need her, you can just go Light Sworn Sanctuary, get rid of her, and get another Light Sworn. That's all fine and dandy and all, but you gotta remember, you know, it's a game of luck. 
you, this is only this would only be three out of your forty card deck. Three out of your forty card deck. So you're not guaranteed to run. It. Just oh, to open up with it. Just like if you're gonna run this card of three and you're gonna run Celestia three, just as likely are you to open up with Celestia. You're just as likely to open up with this. So all you know, you could just draw the Celestia, never get the Let's Sanctuary, and then just get dead draws for days because you can't even play the damn card. So. That's not the smartest idea. Also, keep in mind is that it's not just luck factor when it comes to drawing. This is still Light Swarms. So you can say that Light Swarms Sanctuary resolves all the problems Light Swarms. Yes, it does it all. But you still have to play it. It still has to get in your hand, and it has to be played for it to do anything. It's not a field spell, so you can't just go terraforming and search for it. No, it's a continuous spell, so you really don't got any search card for it. So, you play it, and then you get to go up. But, you're still Light Swords. You, you need to not forget it. It's still Light Swords. So, you may want to get this card, and then you mill it. Oh, good job. You know, um, I'll flip up Ryko, I'll pop your card, and I'll mill. Uh, Light Swords, thanks recharge your light brigade slowly recharge oh fuck my life oh no 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 why did i play this deck of luck <laughs> so you know just as likely as you are to mill your light swords and the good stuff that you want to mill you're just as likely as to mill you know shitty stuff that you don't want to mill i, I don't mean shitty stuff i mean stuff that shitty mills that you don't want to mill just like that so just just add this as another bunch you know i played light swords before and there's been plenty of times where i've milled off you know charge of the light brigades and Solar recharges, so just add this one to the bunch. So you're probably gonna mill, you know, a couple of these. You know, there's a chance that you might mill all of them. Like I said, I can't really say what's gonna happen. You give the game of luck, and you're just stacking some more luck on top of the luck. And then if you get it, then you're lucky. And if you don't, then you're unlucky. And it's just luck, 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 luck. Just way too lucky, luck, luck, luck. So I guess it kind of resolves your problem, and and really it doesn't. You know, it resolves your problem you can kind of get out of shitty hands. You can switch to Light Swarm for Light Swarm. That's great. Does it resolve your problem of milling JD and you not having monster reincarnation? No. Because you can't get back JD. And they even said on this article that, uh, that they did it on purpose. It says right here, uh, about the only thing Light Swarm Sanctuary won't do is help you retrieve and force Judgment Dragon onto the field. Which is totally fine because Dragon, uh, Judgment Dragon doesn't need any extra help to do its thing. That's uh, that's exact quote on on this uh, on the article, so it doesn't help you with that. So it's okay, it's okay, you know. And also keep in mind that if you're going to run this, then that means that you're taking out something, unless you want to keep on increasing that uh, that deck count, uh, because you know light swords are one of the few decks that can, you know push over the boundary of forty a little bit because you know they're milling, but by adding this, you know, you can either push it even farther, or you can just keep it at 40 and then start taking things out. And that's when, you know, you're really scraping the barrel, and, you know, you got to decide what you're going to run. So, um, pretty much, if you're thinking about running, like, some kind of, like, Twilight version of Light Swarms, you're probably going to have, and you want to run this card, you're probably going to have to take the Twilight stuff out. Like, probably, like, no more, like, Gorses and Trags and BLSs, and, you know, you could probably still keep the, the, the Necro Gardeners, because, you know, they still block you, but, you know, you're just going to be cutting it close. This is pretty much going to be closer to, like, just a pure Light Swarm deck instead of becoming anything else. Um, decks like that whole Dragon Ruler, Light Swarm, Turbo, you know, supposedly Tier Zero, you know, fast, aggressive deck, uh, they probably won't have room to run this. They probably won't. They they are really tight niche on space. they got to run particular dragons, particular cards, particular this, particular that. They really don't got room to be running this card, so... Uh, once again, it just kind of looks like a pure Light Swarm card. So I've pretty much just gone off about its first effect. I haven't got to its second effect of this Light Swarm Sanctuary, so let me get to it. So, the second effect is, each time a card, cards, you know, it's both, it has a little, you know, parentheses S, so, you know, pretty much when you mill, and you mill multiple cards, because it's not like cards, so it's not like mill, get a counter, get a counter, get a counter, but hold on, let me finish that. It's, uh... Sent from your deck to the graveyard, place one shine, shine counter on this card. If a light sworn card cards, both, your control will be destroyed by a card effect. You can remove two shine counters from your side of the field for each of those light sworn car cards instead. So, it's you only get one counter when you uh, mill multiple. So, you know, during your phase, when you mill multiple, it's one. 
Now, once again, this also factors into it being a continuous spell and not a filled spell, so therefore if you have multiple activated and you mill multiple, you get multiple counters on each, and then you remove two from your side of the field. So it's not just you move two from this card, it's move two from your side of the field to go ahead and block. And then also it says Light Swarm cards. So, you know, if you have a whole bunch of Light Swarms on the field and then you summon and I go to rental, you can go ahead and move two to block all of them. Yeah. You know? uh, so you can go ahead and do that, I guess. Also, you might just says Light Swarm, so, you know, no protecting that JD, you know. No, you know going like, uh, it's kind of, kind of hard to explain because it's in like you would just wipe the card, so I guess you would go like, summon JD, wipe the field, activate this, activate this, turn the end chase JD meals four, and then you get two, one counter on each, and then you'd be like, oh, and your opponent goes dark hole, and you can't remove those two counters and block JD because he's not a white sworn, so, um, yeah, that's a thing, but it's, it's okay, I guess, you know, this, this effect right here where if, you know, if this card was out, when Honest was at three, then oh yeah, and then that would be you know that would be some booty because you know then you'd be dealing with a light sword monster that can't be destroyed. You can block it, and you know, pretty much the only way that you can really handle the card would be attack into it or attack over it. But then they have three Honest, and you know you sure you want to attack with three Honest existing? So if it came out back then when you know light swords were out there prying with three J with three Honest, I almost said three JD. With three honest, then yeah, this card would be much better. But right now, it's okay. It's okay. You know, it, it's just kind of like that extra little thing. You know, Konami stated about you know, um, getting your uh, field slapped around by a uh, fire and ice hand, so you can go ahead and uh, block that. You know, of course, uh, you know, fire and ice hand had to destroy to summon, so you know you can go ahead and summon fire hand and ram into like a Lila and then try to pop but then they can just block it with sanctuary and then you don't get to summon but then it could also be the other way around and they could take ice hand and ram it into it and then destroy your sanctuary and then summon fire hand and fire hand throw it into you and then you get destroyed so you know it's just definitely how you look at it so uh... it's just when cards are sent from the deck to the graveyard period so you know treasure light brigade uh... You know, Celestia, even Foolish, Burial, uh, Solar Recharge, Kirby Bandit, uh, Minerva. So, uh, any way you can do it, you just go ahead and put multiple Shine Counters and just block your Light Swords from being destroyed by card effects. So, um, Light Swords aren't usually the ones to be up on resources, but, you know, you can go ahead and block from Exiton, I guess. I guess it would go, because Exiton wipes everything, I guess it would go Exiton, Wipe It, and how would that work? How would that work? Would they just all go simultaneously? Hmm. That's a good, good question. I guess. I mean, that's a pretty. That's a good question that we should bring up and answer right now. Since you know people are going to be hopping in that light sworn dick, so we should probably know how all the cards interact. Uh, definitely. So, uh, if you guys can think about how that would work between you know Exiton and you know light sword sanctuary with some light stones on the field, if they're ever up on resources and you want to wipe the entire field, uh, how would that work? Because I believe that this card has to be on the field to resolve, but it's getting destroyed at the exact same time as the last one monster, so I don't believe that this card would be able to block, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. So, that's pretty much it, so tell me what you guys think of it so far. I think it's okay, you know, I'm just so happy that JD isn't a light sword, because then, oh my god, it would just be whoo! So, uh, like I said, tell me what you guys think, and uh, if you guys can, go ahead and help me with that uh, that whole little ruling right there. Just just want to know, just from you know, for just basic knowledge, just to know, because I have a feeling that I'm that we're going to be going against some more light swords that people are going to hop on the deck. The structure deck is coming out soon, so prepare your anuses for JD. Maybe JD can wreck so much shit that maybe Konami can realize that this card shouldn't be at three. Yeah, whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card review. Thanks for watching.